So I've noticed that um, as I've gotten more vocal about my lack of belief, um, that one question that a lot of people have is, why do I care so much? Why do I have to be so angry? Why do I have to be so loud about it? Like, why can't I just sit back and let people believe what they want to believe? So I'm going to try and describe what it's like living in America as an atheist. And I'm not, I'm not trying to get anybody to stop believing. This isn't me trying to like argue with you about your beliefs. Just trying to get you to understand from my perspective, like what, what it's like, um, why I can't just sit back and be quiet about it anymore. So imagine for a moment that Christianity isn't the most dominant religion in the country. Um, imagine that almost everybody in the country is a Scientologist, and I know that probably sounds really ridiculous, but for me, as an atheist, Christianity isn't really any less ridiculous than Scientology, so it works. Imagine that the country is run by Scientologists. All of our political leaders are Scientologists. Elon Hubbard's birthday is a national holiday, and every hotel room has a book on Dianetics and a nightstand drawer. Imagine that Elon Hubbard was long before our time, um, and Scientology is like a few thousand years old. And in history class, you learn about all these wars that have happened in the name of Elon Hubbard and all the billions of people that have been slaughtered, and like over whose version of Dianetics um, is right. And, Every side like claims that you know their holy text is the real, the true word of L. Ron Hubbard, and it, that theirs is the right version. And there's just all, like people, millions of billions of people dying over this. Um, now, imagine that you know early on in life you start to realize that Scientology just doesn't make any sense. Um, so you try to separate yourself from it, and people don't understand. Um, they've been taught to believe it their entire life. Before they were even really capable of thinking for themselves, they've been taught that this is the way things are. So it scares them and it confuses them to know that you're questioning it. Because, you know, it's always been this way. Why would you question it? And the more you separate yourself from this religion, you realize that it's everywhere. You live in a country that's supposed to have no official religion. And they say you have the right not to practice it but it literally, like, it runs your life. Um, they change the Pledge of Allegiance, adding the words under Hubbard. They add the words, in Hubbard we trust to the dollar bill. And sure, that, that might not directly affect your life, but it's, it's a constant reminder of a bigger problem. They want to teach Dianetics in schools as actual science. Not only that, but they want teachers to be forced to teach Incident 2 as actual history. So imagine for the sake of this argument that creationism and like the whole idea of original sin and everything that that's all true like that's all backed up by hard scientific evidence but they're offended by it they're offended by the story of original sin and they don't want it being taught in their school because it goes against their religion so their solution is to force public schools schools that you go to and that someday you're gonna have to pay taxes to support and someday even send your own children to their solution is to force these schools to teach that 75 million years ago, an alien named Xenu brought all of his people to Earth, stacked them around a bunch of volcanoes, and blew them up with hydrogen bombs. And now their souls, if you will, are essentially getting inside of you, and that's why you have pain and suffering. They want to teach this as, as actual fact. They want to teach this to your children. So not only do they want to teach Incident 2 as actual history and put their religion into public schools, but they also want to control what you do with your own body. Um, Scientologists don't believe in taking psychiatric drugs because they don't actually believe that mental disorders like depression and bipolar and even schizophrenia actually exist. And that's fine, they don't have to take them. But now they're waging a political war trying to outlaw psychiatric drugs for everybody and completely remove your right to get real help for your real problems since, simply because it's against their religion. And you've been quiet. You've sat back and just let people believe what they want to believe. But they keep trying to run your life based on their beliefs and you're starting to get kind of upset. And that's understandable. You would have every right to get upset about that. You just want to get their ridiculous doctrine out of your life. You want your children to go to school and be filled with facts and knowledge, not superstition and fairy tales. 
you want the right to get the help you need so that you can live a normal life and that really shouldn't be so much to ask. But as soon as you start speaking up and asking for what you deserve, the privileged majority start accusing you of like waging a war on Scientology. They, they're accusing you of attacking their beliefs just for asking to the right not to believe them. They're, they're acting like you're trying to persecute them. And after all that, they honestly have the audacity to look you in the face and say, why do you even care? Why do you have to be so angry? 